I don't even hate religion. I really don't. The idea of religion is fucking gorgeous, isn't it? The idea of religion is incredible. It's one of the best ideas we've ever come up with. It's one of the oldest ideas we've ever come up with. It predates science, and it sure as hell predates bacon and peanut butter. <laughs> the only thing that might be older than religion is probably masturbation. <laughs> Which is why religion wants to get rid of it so bad. <laughs> but it is, it's this beautiful idea, right? Humanity at one point came down from the trees, started developing our consciousness, and experiencing this world in a whole new way. And we had all of these questions, and we didn't know how to figure out these answers. You know, we had questions like, what are these burning lights in the sky? What's this thing I'm walking on? What's going on inside my own body? And we didn't know how to answer these questions, so we started making answers up to make ourselves feel better. And one of the answers we came up with is that there's some being somewhere in the cosmos, beyond anything, being bigger and larger than we can ever understand. And they put us here to take care of this world around us and each other forever, till the end of time. And if you do not believe in this God of love, we will fucking kill you! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think the idea is the problem. I think the problem might be us. You know? That's what humanity has become very good at, haven't we? We've become very good at taking good, beautiful, amazing ideas and fucking them up. That's what we've become very good at. We've been doing it for centuries. We've become experts at taking beautiful ideas and fucking it up. That's what we did with religion. You know, one of the worst things we did with religion is we organized it. Yeah. <laughs> we took this big, beautiful, open-ended idea that could expand to infinity, that could help our lives, that could help evolve us even further, and we tried to cram it into a box. Right? That's what all those books are about, right? People coming out and being like, I made these steps. These steps are going to show us how to love each other and what to do with our genitals. That's... <laughs> we got to follow them exactly the way that it's been written. It's like, whoa, time out. Did you just turn religion into an Ikea instruction manual? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? And much like Ikea, we don't have all the tools to get the job done. <laughs> It's like, where is the Allen wrench of compassion? <laughs> Did this thing even come with the Allen wrench of compassion? <laughs> we compete with religion. That's one of the things we do, right? We constantly keep competing with religion. And the biggest competition we have with it is who said it first. That's a big competition, right? My God said it this way in this book, and that's the way we gotta do it. Who fucking cares? Who gives a shit? Are you gonna listen to what those rules say? Are you gonna understand what this preacher is actually talking about? Are you gonna treat each other with love, dignity, and respect? No, then fuck it. I guess we'll pick up the swords. <laughs> yeah. And while we're on the topic, I do think that polytheism makes a whole lot more sense than monotheism. Doesn't it? Yeah, polytheism is the idea that there are multiple gods, not just one. Because if you're really going to make some shit up, why would you stop at one? <laughs> you think Stan Lee invented Spider-Man and was just like, we're done now. <laughs> That's the totality of all the superpowers. And one guy was like, hey, what about my like, flight? And they're like, kill that guy. <laughs> no, he made a whole universe. That's where the money is, folks. It's a whole universe, you know? Yeah. Especially if we're going to say that we are made in the image of God. Polytheism makes a whole lot more sense than monotheism, right? Because if you look at every single polytheistic god, they all act just like we do, don't they? Zeus, king of the Greek gods, lives on Mount Olympus, can literally throw down lightning bolts, constantly trying to get laid. <laughs> all the time he's trying to get laid. Tell me that's not a teenager. Come on. <laughs> Let's be honest, you know? He's just a teenager. Look, at one point he tried to turn himself into a goat. Okay? He turned himself into a goat and everybody was like, why? And he was like, because I like a challenge. <laughs> then he won. He fucking won that challenge. It's so upsetting for humanity, isn't it? It's so upsetting. 
Thor, that's another warrior prince god of the Norse religion, right? He wields the hammer Mjolnir that only he and he alone can wield. Has his own movie franchise now. <laughs> that's just selling out in your 20s, isn't it? Come on. Let's be honest, some of us have done it, right? We're just selling out in our 20s. That's what happens. Even my religion has it, right? My former religion, Hinduism, we have it. Vishnu. Vishnu has taken nine different forms, most famously Rama and Krishna, but he's also been a turtle, a fish, a boar, a half-man, half-lion creature. That's just a midlife crisis, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Like, all the other deities are like, hey, why don't you just buy a Ferrari and wear a fedora for a little while? Like, <laughs> fine, you're a lion now. That's fine. <laughs> oh, I can't wait for this century to be over. So you can, uh, whatever this is. We really got to get back to taking care of those primates destroying our planet. You know, we got to... That one's not as funny, but it's tr uh, very important. So <laughs> it's it's going to be in the show. <laughs> I feel like the monotheistic God is just kind of creepy, isn't he? He's just kind of creepy. It's just like one dude that created the entirety of the cosmos, but for whatever reason is obsessed with us. What? <laughs> the arrogance of humanity to think that we are the most interesting things in the cosmos. <laughs> are you shitting me? We're not even the most interesting things in this room right now. <laughs> There are bugs under the stage doing cooler things than we are. <laughs> How are we interesting? Has God not seen us in bed, CNN, MSNBC, and Fox News? Like, what the fuck? And have the balls to call that journalism? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking kidding me? If those people were real journalists, they'd all be in prison right now. Okay? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> A couple Julian Assange fans, I think, in the room, right? A few of them. That's what I like to do with this show. 45 minutes in, roughly, is when I like to gauge the room, right? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows what real journalism is, huh? <laughs> Who knows it? Who knows that the guy that uh, revealed the war crimes of the American elites is actually going to go in prison while all the criminals stay out in the open trying to commit more war crimes? Who knows that shit? Where are you? <laughs> God, this is why I fucking love coming here. You guys fucking get it. What <laughs> of these to God is just creepy, you know? He's like, I got these rules! And you gotta follow all of these rules, and I'm gonna watch you. <laughs> Make sure you're following my rules. I'm gonna keep an eye on you, especially in the shower, especially in the shower. It's like, whoa, time out. <laughs> Dial it back a little bit, God. <laughs> a little too intense, bro. <laughs> Monotheistic God is basically a peeping Tom mixed with a dictator. That's all. <laughs> the NSA's wet dream. That's all. <laughs> That's all it is. I think the absolute worst thing we do with religion, though, is uh, go to war over it. Right? Yeah, we've been going to war over religion since we learned how to spell God. <laughs> Yeah, me, that joke is for me and two people in this room. <laughs> you two are literally the only people in this country that have laughed at that joke, by the way. You know? Yeah, I wrote that for me, to be honest. But we have, constantly, we go to war over religion. 1100s with the Crusades. In the 1700s, Christians were being banned and killed in Japan. And we've been persecuting Muslims since, oh, I don't know, when did time begin? <laughs> it's been going on for a little while, right? Why are we doing this? Why are we taking this beautiful idea and adding bloodshed to it? That's one of the biggest ways we're fucking it up. We took an amazing idea and just drenched it in blood? What the fuck is wrong with us? Why do we keep doing this? Doesn't make any sense. Let's be honest about what religion is. Can we be honest about what religion really is? Because people get mad at me when I do this, right? People get mad when I talk about religion, right? People come out and they go, Hey, listen here, buddy. All right, I can prove that God exists. Okay, I can prove it. Babies. Babies are miracle. Henceforth, God exists. Like, babies are proof that God exists. Babies are proof that you fucked twice. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's, vir 
actually it, right? Have you met babies? There's no way that's proof of God. That just means God would be just covered in spittle all the time. (laughs) I picked up my friend's baby daughter at one point, and then she spittled all over my shirt, okay? All over my Foo Fighters shirt. Are you shitting me? Listen, miracles should have more respect for Dave Grohl, goddamn. <laughs> sure it cost me thirty-seven dollars. <laughs> Let's be honest about what religion really is. Religions are just a bunch of stories with some morals behind them that can help us live our lives better. That's what religions really are. They're just a bunch of stories with morals behind them to help us live our lives a little bit better. But so are Aesop fables. <laughs> yeah. And nobody decided to build a church to Aesop. And nor are we going to war over who's faster, the tortoise or the hare. Yeah. Look, I think religion proves our own evolution. It does. I think religion proves our own evolution. So, sorry, creationists. It does. No other animal has come up with the idea of religion, right? No, no birds have come up with the idea of a floating bearded man in the sky. <laughs> they fucking lived there. They would have seen him by now. <laughs> you should be like, who's this guy? <laughs> calls himself Gary. I think he's going to build a Starbucks. But <laughs> fuck up the ecosystem, but we'll figure it out. (laughs) We'll shit on a bunch of their shit. (laughs) Rhinos don't have a talking burning bush, right? Because rhinos are uh, nature's firefighters. They would have instinctively stamped it out, which means that rhinos don't have the Ten Commandments, which makes the rhinos the most immoral of nature's creatures. (laughs) They're just fucking and killing each other's wives. I have found that that is the one that most people take very seriously. You know, they're like, what the fuck are rhinos doing to their wives? Yeah. Oh, those sons of bitches, we're going to meet you their ass, okay? Which rhinos is it? Is it the white ones? I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. Oh, it had to be the white ones. There's all five of them. (laughs) I don't know, man. You know, maybe if the dinosaurs believed in an eight-armed blue deity, they wouldn't have gone extinct. They would have seen the meteor coming, prayed, and the deity would have just pushed the meteor. (laughs) Look, maybe I'm wrong about this, right? Maybe the dinosaurs did believe in an eight-armed blue deity, but the problem was they just didn't pray hard enough because the T-Rexes couldn't get their hands. (laughs) 